Hi everybody, my name is Shannon and um, I was recently diagnosed with stage four colon cancer. Um, so I've decided to come on YouTube and tell you about my journey with this. Um, when I was first diagnosed, I tried to find um, stories on YouTube by people about colon cancer and I found a lot on breast cancer and I found a lot on lymphoma. Um, but I didn't find a whole lot on colon cancer. Um, I did come across Trey's mom's videos, and she lives up in Connecticut, and they were like a godsend, and I binge watched them all one night, um, and that made me feel a lot better about what I was going through, just knowing that somebody else was going through it too. So I hope this helps those of you, and there are a whole bunch of us um, every year who get diagnosed with colon cancer, whatever your stage. Um, so this, how I was diagnosed, um, I showed no symptoms. I had no signs. Um, lots of people, you know, said they had blood in, in their stool and stuff like that, and I didn't have anything. Um, my family and I went to um, overseas um, in the summer. July, the end of June of 2018, and we came back, um, we came back the end of July, mid-July, and I had been sick while I was there, and actually I got sick when we landed, so I knew it wasn't anything that I caught while we were in Greece. I knew, I really thought that I had gotten like the norovirus or something, like from the plane, or airports or something like that um, is what I really thought it was and I just lost a ton of weight and I didn't feel like well not a ton four pounds and I didn't feel like eating and nothing really tasted good and I thought once I got home it would get a little bit better and it did it actually did get better except um, I kept losing weight and it didn't matter what I ate I could have pasta and I'm I was 48 years old at the time I'm 48 now I mean 49 now um, it didn't matter what I ate. And at first, you know, as a woman in their 40s will tell you, if you lose weight um, for not doing anything and you can eat whatever you want, at first you're like, oh my gosh, this is awesome. You're like, how wonderful. But if you Google unintended weight loss, there's nothing good that comes up with that. Um, so I went to my husband's general practitioner and he, of course, you know, thought it was something that I had caught while I was there. And so I get it. He had to go through and make sure it wasn't like a parasite or something like that. And, of course, it wasn't. And finally, um, he did some blood work. And he was like, oh, but Shannon, you didn't tell me that you were tired. You're very anemic. And I looked at him and I said, I am like a working mom of 20 years. I've been tired for the past 20 years. Like, to me, that's the dumbest symptom ever is tired and fatigue. I don't know a mom or a working mom that isn't tired. So to me, that didn't make any sense. Um, but I did, I was anemic, but I didn't realize it. Um, so he said, I think you need to go see a gastroenterologist and you need to have a colonoscopy. So I said, fine. And I met with um, a wonderful gastroenterologist that that doctor had recommended and I told him all of my symptoms even like the things that seemed like nothing or stupid to me I told him everything and he was like you need a colonoscopy and a endoscopy when they go down and I was kind of thinking maybe it might be an ulcer or something like that um, <clears throat> and then we're gonna also run these other tests so I was like okay whatever I'll do whatever you tell me and I didn't really get nervous until I went to schedule it, and the scheduling nurse said, Dr. Cameron, you're already booked all this week and on this day. And he looked at her and he said, double book it. And that's when I thought, hmm, I think he might know or think something that might be serious. So that was kind of my first hint that maybe it wasn't just nothing. Um... So on October the 1st of 2018, I had a colonoscopy, and after it was over, he came in, and my daughter was my driver um, at the time, and she's 17. And um, so he came in, and he said, we removed three polyps, but there was a tumor 
that's in your cecum, which I didn't even know where that was um, at the time, and we can't take it out. You're going to have to have that surgically removed. And I looked at him and I said, is it cancer? And he said, yes. And of course, you know, I start crying. My daughter starts crying and he's so sweet. He, you know, passed around Kleenex and he's like, I'm going to let you process that for a little bit and I'll come back. And, um, I was actually kind of grateful that my daughter was there instead of my husband because, you know, when it's your kid, you can't fall apart. So, you know, she's upset and I was upset, but you have to rally. And, you know, so I was like, it's going to be okay. It's going to be fine. I'm going to get through this. It'll be good. You know, all is well, all that kind of stuff. So that kind of helped me to pull myself back together, just having her there and having to be strong for her. Whereas if it had been my husband, I would have probably just melted into a little puddle and let him carry me out. But, um, so that was... October the 1st when he told me I had cancer and that was before the biopsy so I figured it must be pretty bad if he was willing to say that without having it biopsied first um, so sure enough after the biopsy came back he said it is what I thought it's cancer you know I'm gonna recommend this one surgeon to you who was also wonderful and I went and saw him and you know truly if you have not gotten a colonoscopy go and get one go and get one they don't hurt it's like the best like 20 minutes sleep of your life. It's wonderful. Um, the prep isn't good, but that's the worst part of it. It doesn't hurt and it can save your life. Um, and the rates, if you can find it at stage one, stage two, stage three, the, the five-year survival rates are incredible. It's, if, if it gets to stage four, that's when they drop all to hell. But, um, so I met with a surgeon, and he sent me to get um, a CAT scan, and they do that before surgery to see, like, what they're dealing with and all that kind of stuff. So I went, and I had that, and he called the next day, and he said, it's metastasized to your liver and your lungs. You have stage 4 colon cancer. And I felt like I had been hit by a brick. I mean, I had no symptoms. And normally I'm a person who will brush off things and you know, I'll just deal with whatever it is. And I wonder how long I would have gone if I hadn't noticed like the weight loss. And I, I wonder how long it had been growing in me and I had absolutely no symptoms. So that's how I got diagnosed um, with colon cancer. Um, and I'll tell you about the surgery in the next one. Y'all like the pink hair? I teach elementary school, and when they found out I was having chemo and all that kind of stuff, and I told them, you know, my hair's going to thin, and I'm going to have to wear wigs and stuff, and they were like, oh, Mrs. War, get a pink one, get a pink one. So um, I got like a pinky lavender one that I thought I could deal with, and you would have thought I was a rock star today when I walked in. Um, so anyway, talk to y'all later. Bye.